Here's our second question. What do Chinese people think of pictures of village children traveling to and from school via zip line over a mountainous valley? A video that has caught the attention of Chinese netizens recently shows the unique and very dangerous way villagers in Guizhou province take their children to school and back. On a 260 feet zip line across a 460 feet deep gorge, the zip line was set up in 2002 and has functioned well ever since. But many netizens have varying opinions about the dangerous method of travel and whether or not the government should have gotten involved. Let's see what they had to say. First is Yue Jun. Better to keep it natural. Mass construction of roadways will destroy the environment. The best solutions are relocating the villagers or reinforcing the zip line or the bridge. The country should care more about the villagers there. Make those billionaires donate more money to charity and then build a bridge for them. Sadly, I am unemployed right now. Otherwise, I would surely offer my help, unlike those people in Guizhou who drink Mao Tai every day. As you can see, a varied set of responses to the report, a common consensus among many Chinese netizens, is that the government should be more involved in improving the lives of villagers, which are usually the poorest demographic across the country. Couple that with the belief that many Chinese officials embezzle money or spend lavishly on banquets and parties, sometimes consuming extravagantly expensive Mao Tai rice liquor that sometimes costs thousands of dollars. And no wonder netizens are upset. Now to our regular web correspondent. With such a deep gorge down there, how could the villagers not feeling scared riding on the zip line? We are taking the subway or taxi to catch up the time. However, they are taking the zip line. And what I worry most is actually about the children. If the inconvenience of the traffic cannot be changed, is it possible for the local government to set up a primary school and secondary school specifically for this village? Or can the schools in the town offer the students dormitory to live or what? Traveling on zip line every day should not come as a long-term plan.